welcome back to Summer Spotlight. This morning, a message for our pet parents. Well, I'm sure you are doing everything you can to protect and care for your pets. We all know emergencies happen, but do you know what to do? Whether it's something out of the blue, maybe an accident, an emergency situation, really something that our pets just can't advocate themselves for. So what are the best steps to help keep our pets safe? This morning, joining us in the studio this morning is the Executive Medical Director with the Emergency Veterinary Care Centers of Mishawaka, Dr. Lisa Palazzi. Lisa, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Oh, you're welcome. And tell me a little bit, who is our furry friend we've got in this morning? This is Lana. <laughs> she's one of my dogs, and she's a four-and-a-half-year-old Border Collie mix. Oh, well, we are so happy to have you both in. And, of course, you guys were first on my radar about the expansion to 24-7 emergency care. What would you say kind of prompted the change and need for this? Uh, well, there's definitely a need to have 24-hour care here. It's the drive of an hour, hour and a half or longer yeah. to get to emergency clinic is just way too long. And we've been trying to get open since we, since we first opened, we've been trying to get open 24-7. But, you know, if your dog gets hit by a car, or gets in a dog fight or something, you don't want to drive an hour. You want to drive 10 minutes to our local facility. So we've right. been working in prep for this for a long time, so we're very excited. And you guys are located right here in Mishawaka, correct? Correct. Perfect. So we've got that really close for anybody within the relative area, too. And talk to me about the community reaction so far. I have seen online that many people are so excited, again, to have that closeness, to be able to be here in emergencies. Because in the past, I mean, what did our pet parents like you have to do in the cases of emergencies? Unfortunately, you had to drive an hour or longer to get to another emergency clinic, or you had to try to wait until morning. And neither of those are good options. So this way, they can come right away. Dog vomits a couple of times, you can head right in. You don't have to do the, well, can it wait till morning? Just give us a call and head on in. Right, in those situations, us pair parents, we, we sometimes just don't know what to do, and all you want to do is provide care. So let's start that process for people at home. What types of animals do you guys provide care for? We provide care for dogs and cats. Dogs and cats. It's always good. No miniature horses here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, what does our staffing look like? And how do you handle cases? Because my brain was thinking, all right, what kind of cases take precedence here first? So we triage just like an emergency room in a human hospital would. So we get a look at them, yeah. we ask what's going on, and we get their vital signs. And then we decide whether they need to be seen immediately, like say a hit by car, um, or whether they can wait until our first available kind of slot. And um, we try to get everybody in as quick as we absolutely can, but obviously, you know, a, a critical patient that may die has to take precedence. And we see all sorts of stuff. We see everything from the dog that ate a sock and needs surgery oh. <laughs> and C-sections, so, you know, delivering puppies, to um, vomiting, allergic reactions, so all of a sudden your dog has a bunch of hives or a swollen face. And I'm glad you're bringing up all of these little different scenarios too, because I think it was important to consider. I reached out to my team here. Now, I am not a pet parent, but plenty of our team <laughs> is. And I was like, okay, guys, tell me, what would you want to know? And one of their things was, what are those major concerns and questions that an owner should say, okay, I think this is an emergency center question or situation versus one just for their primary vet? Well, typically what we tell people is if you're worried, definitely give us a call, you know, Worst case scenario, we can always say, you know, Pump I think breaks. it'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. um, but if you're worried, it's always better to give us a call. Sometimes things can look really minor and actually be very big concerns. Things like um, a GDV, which is a twisted stomach, which is a oh. surgical emergency, a lot of times just presents as a dog that's pacing and its stomach seems a little big or might be drooly. And, and those are surgical emergencies, so we obviously want to get them in right away. Perfect. Well, Dr. Lisa Palazzi, thank you. And Lana for coming in this morning. I know she's got arms of steel this morning, <laughs> Michiana, so that Lana could be a part of the interview. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having us. And Michiana, this morning, if you are wanting to learn a little bit more about EVCC and its services, again, offered 24-7, a great place to go is their Facebook page. You can search Emergency Veterinary Care Center and look for those updates from the Mishawaka Center. Otherwise, I've got a link to their website over on abc57.com under the Summer Spotlight tab. And stick with us. We will be right back after this.